uh, esteemed uh, chairpersons, colleagues, friends, and teachers, professors. We're great. Uh, it's, uh, we're glad to greet you here at this conference, uh, at this annual conference, and uh, we are quite pleased to say that this time this conference is dedicated to the 90-year uh, anniversary of Valerik Melnikov. He's, uh, he's a person who actually developed and defined the whole field of developments in medicine. I wouldn't talk about his uh, personality. Yuri Provosudo would tell you about that. But I would like to say that those who even did know him personally, we consider him as a teacher, as a person who, to a large extent, defined our uh, ways of development these days. I would like to tell a couple of words on the organizational part of our conference. When we just planned this conference, what we discussed, what is necessary for the conference. So we have uh, we wanted to select the best dates, and it was a problem because so many conferences in October, in November, both in Russia and abroad, it is so large number. So. It was even quite hard to find even one date. And we have the same, at the same time in Belgrade, another conference on coloproctology. But it's a good time. We still not don't have much of rain. There is a golden autumn outside. So we can see the beauty of St. Petersburg. The, uh, we, ha we had less of questions regarding the best city for the conference. And all those from St. Petersburg would, ag would, agree, would agree with that. And those who are, uh, do not agree with us, well, raise your hands, we'll remember that. And uh, we decided to have this conference here at the Petro Congress building. We hope that it will, will be the convenient, uh, it will be the convenient uh, building. And it, it's much better for you than coming to our village of Pesochne, where the Institute of Oncology is a quite a convenient place, it's the Institute of Oncology, and uh, I think it will be more comfortable for all the participants. And the most important thing is to, uh, the most important thing is to find, uh, the, so to say, uh, the most, most of the benefits, uh, but, uh, and talking in the uh, way of uh, card games, we're talking about uh, our experts, then uh, they, uh, we can call them jokers. And uh, about our sponsors, I would like to thank to the heads of our institute uh, who supported us. I would like to thank the organizers, the company Rondo, who prepared everything so nicely. And I think uh, we will see it. And you can see all the sponsors of the coffers. These are not all the sponsors. These are uh, those uh, who actually uh, just main sponsors help us because there are much more companies here. Um, but we should have the fresh look. The conference without the fresh look, without something novel, the conference is doomed. And we think we hope the idea. We wanted to. to uh, the first idea was uh, to uh, uh, to create. Um, the, the idea was uh, uh, so to. Uh, to give to everyone this uh, ladybird, but we didn't find them. That's autumn. So the idea was that, uh, so we, will, we have a conference. First lecture will be uh, on um, about uh, uh, Rurik Melnikov. Then the next talk will be about, on about rectal anatomy. Then I don't, I think we don't need to present Mr. Uh, Tsarkov. He's one of the, uh, he's one of the leading specialists in coloproctology. Kirill Petrov. He'll give a talk on uh, MRI staging of uh, uh, rectal cancer. Uh, moving to Moscow, we now have no ch He moved to Moscow, so we now we don't have the chance for direct communication. And we think that he's one of the best specialists on MRI diagnosis of uh, uh, rectal cancer in Russia. Olga Ivko. She's our doctor. She's a specialist on uh, uh, pathomorphology, she's a, there is such a joke. She's a, that's a specialty, uh, there's a specialist who knows everyone, everything but comes too late. So, uh, and uh, finally we have a team and a full team and one of them is pathomorphologist. I'd like to tell you about our teamwork. Then in, uh, 
za chemoradio chemoradiation therapy professor pravasudov i don't want to give you all the uh, talks all the all his so to say merits because it would like too much time but he's one of the leading specialists in treating rectal cancers then we have the translation from the surgical theater the uh, surgery will be done in our institute uh, and you will see it here on screen and i would like to tell you that we will not uh, show the whole uh, we wouldn't show the whole surgery uh, then the next one will be a uh, lecture which i will uh, it will be my lecture it will not be just it will be not educational lecture it will be just a lecture kind of philosophical lecture. what should we do if you want to treat rectal cancer, there's going to be coffee break, which is one of the most interesting parts of the conference. Then Dr. Jim Han, she's a bright surgeon, bright speaker, one of our teachers uh, whom we visited and we saw him uh, doing surgery. Uh, and we still cannot reach such a perfection. So, but Jim, hold on. We just, we just behind you, one step behind only. And uh, then will be another uh, translation of a surgery. So. Uh, uh, so we again we will be surgery. We will we will not translate uh, the whole surgery. Um, so then, but my question kind of when I uh, and uh, when I came to uh, to the UK, they asked me that uh, you should know Badma. Uh, I, uh, I really was astonished. Uh, he works in one of the largest uh, uh, clinics of our country, and he will tell you about uh, mm, sort of economical issues uh, of uh, uh, treatment, uh, total mesorectal excision. And that's, uh, then there's going to be Galadina, which will be the Swedish, uh, 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 so it will be Buffett, so to say. So there will be uh, time for informal communication. You can register for gala dinner. Uh, you, the bus will come here to that hall, and we will move there. It will be in the. Uh, it will be located. Uh, our din gala dinner is going to be at the uh, uh, in the downtown, so quite convenient location. The next day will be as follows. The first uh, lecture will be by Tatiana Semiglazova. She's the head of the chemotherapy unit of our institution. She'll tell us a couple of words how chemotherapy uh, could help to the surgeons. And we asked her to avoid those uh, complicated pathological uh, schemes on target therapy. Uh, we asked her to, to talk about how chemotherapy could help to the surgeon, adjuvant therapy, uh, some uh, issues on uh, chemotherapy when waiting for the surgery. And I hope she'll give us more of materials on uh, uh, on the recent materials from ASCO and ASMA, uh, ESCO and ASMA. And the next uh, lecture, Nuna Figueiredo. He is our Portugal friend, a colleague. He's a great, uh, uh, he's a radiologist, not a surgeon. He's a great colleague of ours. And we'd like to tell to tell about, about this concept, stop and wait. So I think he will, uh, explain us all those uh, details and I recommend you talk to Nuna he's a very open uh, person he's our colleague and our friend then Alexander Razulov he'll tell about new technology or treatment of uh, rectal cancer he's the head of uh, department of colorectology Russian scientific center he's a person having an experience with a, a reversive TME and he is developing uh, this field in our country he's a very open and friendly person if you don't know him, you have a chance to talk to him and have a good contact. Then, a robotic TME. The surgery will be done by Professor Amjad Parvez. It will be the surgery will be done in the hospital number 40 of St. Petersburg. Though it's a municipal hospital, of course, seems to be like quite simple place. But it, actually, it's one of the best hospitals in in St. Petersburg, both with equipment and a. a Mm, so to say, uh, stuff wise, is this uh, mm, uh, they have a, a robotic complex Da Vinci, they have a co considerable experience. In less than one year, they did more than 80 interventions at the mm, uh, uh, rectum and, mm, uh, uh, and colon. 
that's uh, that's a photo of, uh, about Dmitry Vladimirovich. He'll tell you about his experience uh, with such interventions. Transnational team E, Yup Knoll is of Belgium, uh, hustled. Uh, from the first words, uh, Yup started to show us some video. The quality of this video was just uh, incredible. It was a computer animation of different stages of surgery. I was really astonished. And we talked to him, and I think he didn't believe us that he will invite him, that he would invite him. We visited Hasselt. Uh, he invited us, so we talked to him. Uh, we talked to him, and he was so glad that he, we didn't bring him to Siberia. He brought a special device, uh, not approved in Russia, to create a, a permanent pressure. Uh, in the uh, lumen of rectum, uh, our, uh, and it was hard to go through customs, but we did it. So you could talk, talk to our Belgian friends, it, you will be quite pleased with that experience. And it's a sh short video which you provided to us. He didn't give us a complete video, but the time we talked to him, I asked him to give a complete video. He said it's not yet published, so wait. But yesterday, in our, when we talked to him, he said that the data has been published, so we can see the complete uh, video and uh, so th and I, so we'll see it later on then Evgeny Rybakov one of those uh, who whom we shouldn't uh, introduce here in this room he's a head of the rectal cancer unit of the Russian uh, research center on coloproctology he has a great experience in treatment of both benign and malignant uh, rectal uh, uh, lesions. He has uh, lots of, uh, uh, so I wouldn't tell all his, so to say, positions and uh, words. And I'm glad that he agreed to come here to the conference and he will uh, mm, tell us about his experience. That's one more nice, uh, not nice event, coffee break. Of course, it's clear that we, we, it could vary back and forth. Uh, we have the hall here in the downtown. Our uh, operating theater is 20 kilometers from here. Uh, the timing in the agenda is still just more or less, it's not the exact time, it's more or less so to say, uh, just to have an idea. And uh, you pulled the surgery, trans an LTME, we provided, uh, uh, you wanted to do more complex cases, and he selected the hard men with uh, men with uh, narrow pelvis uh, after uh, chemo and radiation therapy. So not not a woman, which was quite a simple case. And I would like to wish him uh, wish him luck. And this person, Amjad Parvez, is um, for us is more than just an Amjad. He's our teacher. He's a person. He is a specialist who actually uh, transfer us, uh, convey to us his look, not, all, not just the technology to to the treatment of the patients. He's our teacher, and he's a head of this center, I don't know how to call it, in Portsmouth. It's an educational chiropractology center in uh, Queen's, uh, Queen's Alexander Hospital. So uh, Daniela Miskovic, uh, Jim uh, worked here, Jim Han worked here, and Amjad will tell you how to prefer, uh, how to reach perfection when doing uh, a robotic uh, TME. And Daniela Meskovic, he is a really open and uh, uh, great friend of ours. Uh, now he worked in the uh, University of, of uh, Nice. Before he worked uh, with Amjad and Parvez, uh, was Amjad Parvez and Jim Han in uh, the UK. He is a consultant. He was awarded as the best uh, coach. He is giving a bright lecture. The ideas of this of that presentation, which is done in praise, not in just PowerPoint, that's an idea by Danilo. When he showed at our previous conference, we we were really astonished with that. You know, it's quite nice to talk to that person. It's hard, it's really hard to, to uh, invite him here because he's a small son. But I hope he will come. Uh, he will find time to come to us, and we're really glad that he managed to do that and visit us these days. And uh, at the end of the conference. We plan to have a press conference with the participation of all our experts to to give the opportunity for every of the participants to reach them with their questions, to uh, establish some good contacts. And I hope our conference will be really fruitful. I would like to thank you, all of those coming here. I think not everybody's here. 
uh, about 150 persons have been registered. Uh, so we have a little bit less here. There are also will be persons who are not registered. So thank you all for coming here, and I hope you will enjoy this time. Thank you.